Hello there, my fellow greenskin captains, and welcome to another video about orcish lore and funny stories. Today I wanted to broach a topic that, once again, many of you asked me about during the running time of this series. And that topic is the actual starships and air tags navy of the greenskin hordes. So today we are going to tackle exactly that. I'm gonna tell you about their warships, from the smallest to the biggest, as well as name some famous vessels in those categories. I am your host, for today the Greenskin Narrator, and without further ado, let us proceed, shall we? The Onslaught Attack Ship The Orc Onslaught class attack ship is ugly difficult to maneuver, and lightly armored along its flanks and rear. This lack of speed, maneuverability, armor, and broadside firepower leaves it suitable for just one role, head-on attack. However, its thick prow armor and large battery of forward guns make it very good at this one role, particularly during its initial attack run as many Imperial Starship Commanders have discovered in their final moment of dismay. As this was not enough, the Onslaught, like all Orc attack ships, is capable of atmospheric operation, and can land on planets, allowing it to deliver another Greenskin warband with vehicles and artillery to attacking Orc ground forces. The Savage Gunship the Savage Gunship is an even more extreme version of the Onslaught attack ship. Armed with short-ranged but incredibly powerful heavy guns, Savages are little threat in open space where they can be easily picked off, but do come into their own in ambush situations. There, the enemy has little time to react before the Orc ships are in range and pounding them with their formidable firepower. The Ravager Attack Ship This one is an orc version of the torpedo boat. Unlike in Imperial fleets, torpedoes are not a major strategy for the orcs, probably due to the unreliability of their reloading teams and the poor quality of the torpedoes themselves. As such, Ravagers are rarely seen in dedicated squadrons like they do in the Imperial Navy and are, instead, being more commonly mixed with onslaughts and savages. All the downsides inherent in orc torpedo usage are made up for by the sheer size of the Ravager's torpedo launchers. With a bit of luck, a volley from a Ravager can even equal that from an Imperial cruiser. The Brute Ramship The orc Brute Ramship is a very curious vessel and possibly the single most characteristically orky spacecraft in existence. It is fitted with engines and maneuvering thrusters, which are far superior to the orcish norm. But these engines are not intended to make the brute better in a fight, but to allow it to line up with a victim vessel and then ram it. The brute's armored beak, festooned with rotary blades and drills, is a terrifying weapon when slammed into an enemy void ship at maximum thrust, allowing this escort-sized ship to badly damage even a much larger and more powerful capital ship. As far as its statistics go, it is approximately 1.1 kilometers long, 0.5 kilometers wide, it weighs approximately 6.5 megatons, and can accelerate up to 5 gravities. The Kill Cruiser The Orc Kill Cruiser is as close to a standard type of cruiser as Orcs get. Usually based on the hulks of destroyed Imperial and Chaos cruisers, Kill Cruisers are protected by heavy prow armor, and primarily armed with lots of guns and heavy guns, with some also adding torpedo launchers to their arsenal. They were a major threat to shipping in the Gothic sector, even during peacetime, and their numbers only grew during the Gothic War, presumably due to all the starships' hulks left over from the battles between the Imperials and their chaotic counterparts. Kill cruisers also made up a large portion of the warlord Gaskul Mag'uruk Fraka's armada during the Third War for Armageddon, 
and as such saw action in virtually every fleet engagement of the war. They were especially pivotal during the Battle of Pellucidar, when a squadron of kill cruisers crippled and boarded the Apocalypse-class battleship Triumph. Some notable examples of these vessels include Daripa. Daripa is Warboss Snockgrit's flagship, an orc kill cruiser built to his exacting specifications, and to quote him, more Fasta and more Daka. The Butcher This was the only kill cruiser to be repeatedly identified by the Imperial Navy's intelligence during the Gothic War. It is suspected that there may have been other repeatedly sighted ships that were simply not recognized due to having undergone a large number of additions and improvements, which are common to all Orkish technology. The Butcher attacked six convoys in the Quinrock Sound over the course of the Gothic War, destroying a total of 15 badly needed transports, seven escorts, and the cruiser Admiral Lennox. It is further believed that the Butcher led the looting of Bralufa Station. Deathstorm Sailors from Footfall to Nadush know the blunt menacing prow of the Deathstorm an orc freebooter vessel renowned for its ability to survive damage that would cripple or kill a lesser ship. As with most orc starships, the Deathstorm has seen many captains over the solar decades, until being taken by Gargoth Earbreaker in a grog-fueled boarding action some years hence. Although no two orc vessels are the same, Deathstorm does exemplify some design choices typical to the madcap contraptions constructed by Orc Max. The ship has a solid, heavily armored prow, constructed to vaguely resemble a snarling Orc face, including huge teeth to scare off predators of the warp. Additional slabs of armor line the flanks, although the warship is more vulnerable at its lightly protected stern, and the snouts of blunt-barreled macro weapons protrude haphazardly from the hull. Since obtaining the Deathstorm, its captain has encouraged his mechs to make some improvements to the ship, most notably a pair of gigantic lance weapons salvaged from a derelict Eldar cruiser, reworked into zap cannons and mounted on the Deathstorm's fanged maw, these cannons provide the freebooter vessel with a dangerous bite at short range. Deathburner an orc cruiser known to have plagued shipping across Winterscale's realm for over a decade now, the ship identified as Deathburna has resulted in the destruction of dozens of human and elder vessels. The vessel is now apparently embroiled in an escalating conflict with the Rakgol Xenos race, as their invasion routes cross the territory that Deathburna's unknown captain seems to have claimed as his own. The Scarfist. This was an orc freebooter's kill cruiser. Led by the notorious captain Troglazek, it entered the Valdak system and was successfully destroyed in a sabotage operation by the Militarum Tempestus 55th Capic Eagles Regiment, under the command of Tempestor Prime Magnus Crassus. After Tempestor Gerintas' group dropped the Prometheum Accelerator into the heart of Scarfist's fuel ducts, it destabilized the ship's fuel system, overheating its fuel reserves, leading to the destruction of the Scarfist. The Terror Ship The Orc Terror Ship is a variation of the standard kill cruiser that has been associated with attacks against lightly defended outposts and auger stations throughout the Cyclops cluster of the Gothic sector. Just like Orc kill cruisers, terror ships are generally built around a core of salvaged Imperial and Chaos starship hulks, but forego the usual broadside heavy guns in favor of makeshift launch bays for Orc attack craft. The fighter bombers and orc assault boats that the terror ship carries are supported by a large array of forward and broadside guns, as well as either a forward heavy guns battery or a forward torpedo launcher. 
fighter bombers are equipped not only to intercept enemy ordnance, but also carry bombs and missiles capable of damaging a warship. Orc assault boats are simply armored shells with a plasma engine at one end, and a piercing beak at the other, more akin to giant boarding torpedoes than the far more sophisticated attack craft employed by other starfaring races. And finally, the Orc battleship. While Orc battleships, as defined by the Imperium, do not actually exist, Orc starships do tend to grow over time, through the accumulation of salvage, additions, and typical Orcish upgrades. In this way, during the Third War for Armageddon, several Orc cruisers grew to a size and power that could only be accurately described by the Imperial Navy's definition as battleships. Thankfully for the Orcs' enemies, there were only very few such starships in existence, and each one was unique. Some famous examples of Orc battleships include Death Dealer. The Death Dealer is an Orc battleship that is thought to be one of the oldest of its size, having been around at least 30 years before the Third Armageddon War. Originally the flagship of Warboss Urgut's Dregrak, it launched a bombardment before Dregrak's landing on Armageddon, though it did as much damage to Dregrak's rivals, especially to Gasgul's own warbands. After his landing, it didn't take long for rival Death Skulls, allied with Hermann von Straub, to teleport aboard the Death Dealer and massacre its crew, stranding Dregrak on the planet. After this change of hands, the Death Dealer quickly faded from prominence in the war. Though normally slow and ungainly, it was capable of surprising bursts of speed, and it carried the immense firepower and armor that was typical of its kind. Foremost among that firepower was a bombardment cannon. The Slam Blaster Like many Orc ships, the battleship Slam Blaster was built on the hulk of a destroyed Imperial vessel. In the case of the Slam Blaster, that hulk was that of the Gothic-class cruiser Pallas Imperius. Unable to properly repair the hulk's broadside lances, the orcs stripped them out and attempted to combine the parts into two larger lance-type weapons. In typical orky fashion, the result looked more dangerous than it actually was but it nonetheless gave the Slam Blaster a lance capability that was unheard of for Orc vessels. The Slam Blaster played a crucial role in the Third Armageddon War, as part of the raiding groups sent ahead of the main invasion fleet. The Stark Russia The Stark Russia was a titanic Orc battleship and the flagship of Orc warboss God Stampa. Godstampa put this warship at the head of his war in 739 of M41, encountering an intercepting fleet of the Space Wolves under Wolf Lord Finn Gorison. Finn was victorious in his early engagement, at one point driving his strike cruiser straight into the weak point of the Orc cruiser Longtooth, and out the other side, breaking the ship in two. However, the Stark Russia still dwarfed the Space Wolf vessels, and inflicted heavy damage to them with its superior firepower. This did not deter Gorison though, who slammed his strike cruiser into the maw-like launch base of the Stark Russia, and led his great company in a sustained boarding action. The resultant war inside the bowels of the Stark Russia lasted for six months, but the Space Wolves eventually came out victorious. Gorbog's Revenge Gorbog's Revenge was an orc battleship, most active during the Third War for Armageddon. After Gorbog captured the Imperial Dominator class cruiser, he enslaved its crew, altered the ship, and renamed it into Gorbog's Revenge. It participated in the invasion of Chosen, as well as the invasion of Armageddon. The ship possesses giant aircraft hangars, which enabled Gorbog to launch numerous fighter bombers into orbit, supplemented by a dreadnought's devastating firepower. The Cruel Boy The Cruel Boy is an orc battleship with a history of piracy, raiding, 
and otherwise tormenting Armageddon for years before the Third Armageddon War. This served the orcs well in the early days of the invasion, as, whether accidentally or on purpose, it caused monitor station Mannheim to shrug off Krulboy's later raids as simple piracy, when in fact it was part of the vanguard for Gaskul's incoming war. As the war eventually receded from Armageddon, the cruel boy went back to its old habits of raiding throughout the Armageddon sector, as well as becoming involved in a civil war on Manglor. And that, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about Orc starships for today. What is your opinion on the so-called Orc Navy? Would you like having one of these ships in your fleet? Let us know in the comments below. Was this video informative or entertaining? In that case, please click the like button and subscribe for more content. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you all a very orky day.